Welcome to the Databricks Skill Builder series. We're glad you're here. Hi, in this video, I'll show how to create a dashboard in just a few minutes with Databricks Lakeview dashboards. Lakeview dashboards lets you build and share awesome data visualizations that provide insights into your business. Data source definition, dashboard setup, and sharing and visualization configuration, it's all done in one point and click interface, which makes the build experience super simple, super easy, especially if you don't know a ton of SQL. And these dashboards are also governed by your unique catalog, which means you always know where the insights are coming from. Okay, so let's see how it works. We navigate to dashboards from the menu, and then click on Lake View Dashboards. So let's create a new one by clicking on this blue button on the upper right. So this is our editor interface, and it's got two panes, the Canvas pane, where we build our dashboard, and the Data pane, where we define the source data sets for our dashboard. So quick tip, you will need a SQL warehouse connected in order for the dashboard to run. OK, so say I am a procurement manager at a wind turbine operator, and I want to see how my turbine assets are distributed geographically. I know the data I need is in a table called turbine, but I'm not very familiar with writing SQL queries. So not a problem. So I can just do select a table to add it to my source data sets. So in this pop up, I can search for the turbine table by name or if I know the catalog and the schema uh, of where this table is in, I can provide that detail as well. Okay, so here's a table. Let's click on that. Okay, and then you'll see that it gives us a, a nice preview of the data in the turbine table as well. So now I can add more tables, and of course, I have the option to um, pull data from using a SQL query as well. Okay, so let's go back to the Canvas pane and start building our dashboard. So from the widget bar, I can pick the widget type. So we can do a visualization, text box, filter, and parameters are coming soon as well. So to start, I'm going to do a visualization. And let's put it right here. And um, remember, I want to see where my turbines are physically located using the data in the turbine table. So our bar chart uh, would work here. And uh, so that's the default one. And uh, let's use location as our label. And then we want to total up the number of turbines at each location. So that's it. Super easy, right? So it looks like Columbia Heights, I believe that's in Minnesota, has the most uh, turbines. So uh, let's say I also want to change the color scheme to match our company colors. And I can do that here as well. So let's also give it a title. So it's clear what this chart represents. We're going to share it out. OK, so let's do one more. Say we want to know the manufacturer model of every turbine that I have. So I can create a table visualization for that. So I'm going to go back here to the widget bar. And let's put that visualization right here. And I uh, will change the visualization type to a table. And um, so I want to see the individual turbine and its model. So I would just make these two columns visible. So turbine ID and the model. OK, I want to show the turbine ID first so I can reorder that by pulling this column up. All right, that's it. So it looks like I have got a bunch of epic wins. Great. All right, so if I want to dynamically filter my dashboard, I can add a filter widget here as well. So say if I want to filter by model, so I can put that here. And uh, let's do filter on model. Let's see what it give us, gives us. All right, so it looks like all I've got right now uh, are epic wins. So if there are other models, it will show in the drop down and my visualization will update accordingly depending on the selected model. OK, so um, let's see if we did any other changes we make. We can make this a little bit bigger so it's uh, more easy to see. And 
And that's it. I'm ready to share the dashboard with my team so everyone can see what turbines we have. And this info can feed into our purchase planning for next year. So let's give it a title. And, and I can publish it to a stable version and share and share it from there. Or, or I can just share this draft while I continue to iterate in parallel. All right, so there we have it. We built a Lakeview dashboard in under five minutes, and it shows important insights for me and my team.